What's up, guys? It's been a while. Wishing Bay. We're getting ready to head out on this epic fishing journey with these motley crew. Woohoo! Let's go. I'll introduce you to them one by one as they start to fish. We're here with Captain Scotty from Brother Sport Fishing. It's going to be a blast. This is his new boat. It's a beauty. Uh, it's a bigger boat. He's got a, a fleet of three now. So go check out Brother Sport Fishing, guys. Brothersportfishing.com. All right, let's roll. go horizontally to the nose of the bait. You want to make sure that you're right there in the cartilage of the nose. You see that cartilage up there? You don't want to be down here in the jaw. See how translucent the jaw is? Oh, okay. Just horizontally right through the nose. Every time you reel in a bait, always take it off and put on a new bait because then we have plenty of bait here. Um, your bait will get tired throughout the day. So what you want to do is when you reel in, it's in the boat, you got your hook in the boat, go ahead and put on a new bait when you set it out. Uh, when we stop to fish, uh, the wind is going to push the boat. So then in general, the wind will come from the northwest for us here out of San Diego, but then sometimes it comes from different directions. The key, the key is just wind in the face. So wind in the face, you're in the right place. If the wind's coming from the northwest, you're fishing on this side, wind's hitting you, wind hits the boat, boat slides this way, then your line goes away from the boat. If you're on that side, then the wind's coming here. If you drop your line on that side, wind's hitting you in the back boat slides over your line, your line gets into the propeller, gets caught on the rigging gear. It, uh, even if you do get hooked up, you'll break your line because uh, it'll hit the boat. And then worse, if it gets to the propeller for us, we'll have to clear that line before before we get on going again. When you do hook up, any fish that we're going to hook up today will take drag. Drag is the amount of pressure that the reel puts on, uh, on the spool. So then when a fish is taking line, allow it to take line. And when it gets tired, you can get back and, and reel line back in tire the fish out enough that it comes up next to the boat and we can hit it with a gap. So the key is with these, you have to put your thumb on the spool. You have to control the spool. This here is a star drag, so when you hit that clutch lever, now it's in free spool. The spool will move because nothing's holding it, um, but you have to hold it with your thumb. The idea is the rate at which the line is leaving the spool, see how I pinch it here, that's much line. The, the rotation of the spool has to match that rate. People make the mistake of pinching the line and stopping the line, but they don't stop the spool. And then when you stop the line, but you don't stop the spool, you'll get loose line there. When those lines cross over each other, then it'll get a backlash. It won't allow line to go anymore. So what you want to do is just control the spool and match the line coming out. Now, when you're not hooked up on a fish, when you say you're just reeling in your bait, you want to pinch the line and get it back on there tight. Because if, you, if you're not holding the line and you just reel it in, get it back on there loose, the next time you use that reel, that loose line is going to mess you up again. So in effect, I like to have my hook in my hand, put the rod in my elbow, net some baits, choose a good lively bait, see how lively and green it's got all the scales on him. Don't leave the bait net in the tank because you'll kill the rest of the bait. Go over to the side with winds in the face, thumb on the spool, free spool, and then you just let that bait take line. So right now, because the boat's moving forward, that forward momentum is pulling all this line out. If your line is going that fast, you got picked up by a fish. All you do is click it up into gear and reel. Do not pull the rod. You pull the rod, you're more likely to just pull the hook out of the fish. Versus just put it in gear and reel, the angle will set in better. Versus you yank, it'll kick out. So just put it in gear and reel, and then the hook will go right into the corner of the fish in the mouth. Ideally, you want to wait at least like three to five seconds. Let, let, let the fish eat the bait. But uh, most of the time with the kind of fish that we're going to be seeing today, like if a yellowfin tuna or a bluefin tuna picks up your, your bait, it's going gonna, it's gonna to scream out with line already. If we're mahi fishing or yellowtail fishing on a kelp patty, you want to let them eat it a little more. 
<laughs> this is a sign of how this day is going to go. <laughs> First fish! First fish day. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 